What's up, everybody? Episode 29. I love weed. Green clouds here. I'm listening to Josh Heinrichs. I believe the first half of this CD is called Rooftop Sessions. Signed copy. Big deal. And then the other half is High on Love. Uh, it's a little EP, 11 tracks. Grass man turned me on to this guy. Some pretty good tunes. I don't exactly know where he's from. I can't remember. Let's see if Grass man mentions it in the chat. Oh, Missouri, right on. Uh, he's the former lead singer-songwriter of Jaw Roots and the owner of Ganja Records. And I believe he's worked with the band 77 Jefferson and a couple others and put out a bunch of top 10 top 10 debut albums I guess on iTunes and other billboard I don't, know, I don't follow the trend of music billboards and shit so but there's some claim to fame uh, I tried to get him on tonight's show but never heard back from him so uh, just wanted to play this album haven't actually heard it yet was holding out I like I don't have an album that's from the past um, I kind of like it to be new to me on the show just enjoy it in the background and go so how is everybody doing tonight who do we got here so we got Kosa in the house crispy critter grass man medbed miss Jack Gimp Cyclops rake scas farm Kevin from and they boosting what is up everybody Thank you for tuning in. Uh, one of my interviews for today had lined up. He had to cancel. And I have replaced him with none other than our very own Cookies Mike. Going to get him on a little bit later and talk about the still open donation show for the Grow Pro and talk about what's available for a little bit of donation just to help out the family. So well, stay tuned for that. It's going to happen around 8.30. Um, you guys are heard me talk quite a bit about over the course of the past year, uh, Lucky Dog Hot Sauce. It's a buddy of mine I met through a mutual friend on Facebook, and when I met him, he was just in the early stages of taking his hot sauce to to market, and it was basically just a hobby, a kitchen hobby sauce, and. Uh, we had started trading the jerky for hot sauce, and it just the hot sauce is the best hot sauce I've ever had. And basically, he feels the same about the jerky, but so we're always trading, trading, trading. So he, uh, it was fun to watch him go from a, a hobby operation to fully in the market now. Uh, he's won 23 or 24 industry awards in the in the two years that he's been out, and. The stuff's just flying off the shelves. I think he's got six or seven sauces. Amazing flavor. Uh, the black label is by far my favorite. It's I think that was the fourth the fourth sauce he made. They came out with the green, the red, and the orange. I might have to give a bottle away next show. I think I'll do that next show at the lottery. Uh, but anyway, I uh, he's got a Kickstarter program that's got one week left. And earlier today, he was about... Fifteen hundred dollars away from meeting the goal of twenty-six thousand to get him a new work van. Um, his old Dodge piece of crap is falling apart. Anyway, he's 
actually already reached his goal, and there's still five days left. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the video, give you an idea of what the hell Scott's doing, an idea of what the hot sauce is, and uh, pretty dope. So check this out. I'm Scott. I've made hot sauce for the last 10 years. In 2012, I started Lucky Dog Hot Sauce. Hey buddy. And this is Lucky. Hey I love creating the most balanced, flavorful, and versatile hot sauce possible using California produce whenever I can. I'm on the road all the time, delivering my award-winning hot sauce to stores, festivals, and farmers markets all over the place. It's been an incredible journey. less than two years, Lucky Dog Hot Sauce has won 23 industry awards. From New York, to New Orleans, to Texas, including the iloveitspicy.com product line of the year for 2013. To continue this amazing growth and expansion, I need a new delivery vehicle. One that's fuel efficient, reliable, and safe. I'd be able to continue doing farmer's markets and would have the confidence to travel to stores and miles further away. I've been working on a fantastic new sauce, Dia del Pedo, Day of the Dog. As a Kickstarter contributor, you'll receive access to the first release of my latest and best sauce to date. Thanks for watching. With your support, hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be driving my new, safe, reliable Lucky Dog hot sauce delivery vehicle to a market near you. Lucky Dog hot sauce, man. I posted the link down in the chat below. Go check it out. Five days left to get some exclusive stuff and get a, your hands on the Dia del Perro. So I didn't want to be left out. I'm finally award-winning beef jerky, Mr. Chili Beef Jerky World 2014, first place champion. Just had to toot my horn. So shout out to Lucky Dog Hot Sauce. Congratulations on reaching your goal. Some really good exclusive bargains on that Kickstarter program. So get yourself some hot sauce. And get yourself a t-shirt or some shot glasses or something. So yeah, first place, Mr. Chili. I believe there was 38 competitors overall. Um, but in the, I don't know, I think it was like four or five in the American in the US version or whatever they called it. But I don't care. We took first place. Pepper grinder, shit is on fire. Let's have a toast. Pack your bowls. Ripdeck.com. I love my Ripdeck. Grapefruit Fino of Sunshine Cage, man. Bodhi said it's very, very rare. He's never even heard of it, so... <coughs> if I understand what he said correctly, uh, me and 
Bloods on Bloods have very rare, or uh, Dual of Man have rare females. Where the hell have you been anyway? It's a good album. I'm digging it. Thank you, grass man. <coughs> Ooh, that is some good stuff. So, Lucky Dog Hot Sauce. I'll give a buy a bottle next week. Probably a bottle of his new. I don't know. Depending on who wins it, I'll ask if they're wussy heat or excessive heat, and then we can go from there. <laughs> So, Dong Water, uh, there's been a site wide message posted and has a package for the social grow. Um, actually, packages available for quite a few people. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, got a package available, and I believe it's for the social grow members. Exclusive, it's 20 seeds for $50 and a $5 shipping. And you get your choice of. I think the package broken down into all these strains, if I understand correctly. Check with him for sure. There's a post in the forum about it. But it's 20 regular auto seeds. These are regular autos, not feminized. Uh, there's cheese, bubble cheese, diva, little bastard, little bitch, Moby Dick. Amnesia, Critical Plus, and Purple Cream. So those sound those sound really, really good. So 20 beans for $50 with the $5 shipping. I believe non-TSG members are 15 beans for $50 and the $5 shipping. So uh, if there's any issues, he's going to check with me for everybody that he's not sure that the social remember and all about you. For all official members. Hey, shout out to the Kevin from the Social Grows resident, Greenlight Jerky Fiend. Thank you, sir. We'll get that out to you right away. Nice order. Appreciate that. <clears throat> so, Dirty Bong Water, dude. That's some good package. 20 beans. Um, yeah, speaking of that, I got. They're in the other room, damn it. I forgot them. But. I got my Shrum Auto Pots in last week, and man, those are tall pots, and my new tent is shorter than the old one, so I'm wondering how much room I'm going to have. Um, so we'll see. I got two shoes from, I think. I think I'm going to grow this one in the Auto Pots. It's going to be a little bit, though. I've got a couple of projects right in front of it. Clear some space. Um, yeah, anyway, speaking of space, I did increase my space right now. Replaced my 4x4 and 55x55 inch tent, veg tent with one nice large 5x5, or excuse me, 5x10 and added about 13 square feet of grow space and I'm very very happy the plants are loving it um, it is good for me uh, <clears throat> interesting uh, what was I saying my new 5x10 tent, you'll see a cloud room update here soon. I've been mad busy removing, breaking down. I had to redo my whole entire grow space, shifting everything around. But uh, getting a ton of room, both grow and usable space, and the rest of the grow for functionality. So I'm extremely happy. Uh, boost, I got your tents all cleaned up and ready to go, nicely set aside. So let me know when you're coming up. This past weekend was a cannabis cup. I don't know what number it was, but it was hella. They've been doing it a lot, and now that all these medical states going, it seems like they got 35 a year, and they're making money hand over fist. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go. There was, I was gonna go. I was gonna go with Mrs. Clouds, and then 
some things happen and there's a graduation thing and then then all of a sudden I was supposed to work a booth we were thinking about doing a booth with Laplata Labs and Alpha Chronic but that didn't work out and then by the time that happened there were no tickets blah 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 anyway did it even sell out? I don't know but I didn't go I looked at the pictures looked like it was the same thing same old people but that's because I'm following them and I see what they posted. But they look the same, look fun. Probably check it out. Everybody's talking about going to, what is it called? The, the Emerald Cup in December. Boosting Coastal Farms. Yeah. I'm gonna try to go to that, that'll be fun. What is that, December? What's the date on that, guys? December 16th? <clears throat> Do the cups, I don't, you know, I, the only reason I haven't been is because, like, the thought of paying money to go stand in line, to go stand in more lines, just to smoke weed and hang out with people, it's like, I don't know. It's like, man, I don't, I don't pay to go strip clubs either. Cheers. December 13th and 14th, okay. Those are good dates. Way off. Should have time to possibly work something out. Let's we'll see. All right, uh, some news on the Strain Review. The Strain Review has made an executive decision, and there's a new overall leader, Nick2051, with a score of 154 points, is now the overall leader as well as the second quarter leader and actually take that back today's January July 2nd so congratulations you are the winner of the second quarter prize um, it's your choice of a bottle of green clean or the two three gallon yield pots so hit me up Nick with your choice of winnings and congratulations on currently holding the overall lead uh, the grand prize is a 4-liter C-Vault, a bunch of box of crutch papers, a bunch of Vortex blunt wraps, some award-winning green light jerky, award-winning Lucky Dog hot sauce. What else is in there? I don't know. Probably some beans. So, and I heard a rumor that there's possibly a trophy going for the official pseudo faux social grow cup slash strain review, but we shall see. So congratulations, Nick, on currently leading and winning the second quarter. Uh, if you're interested in having your strain tested by me, hit me up and we will talk. We have a, a new server that's been acquired. I've paid for it. I own it. Well, I don't own it, but I own the rights and access to it. It's my, under my name. And they Boostin has graciously offered his services to help me get things moving, moved over, and get the site transferred back up and running and under my control 100%. Unfortunately, previous deals with people fell through and, you know, things happen, life gets in the way, unfortunately, promises weren't kept or just they weren't able to pull through, whatever it is. Anyway, we're moving on and uh, shout out to you, Boost. How those cats doing, by the way? I just noticed. Did they get checked up yet by the doc? Cheers. So I noticed a lot of people join the Social Grow, sign up for their 14 day trial, <laughs> and then. California, no. Never do anything after that. They don't come in the chat, or they come in the chat for two seconds, and um, that's it. So I wanted to briefly just touch on what you know, what is a social grow, and how does it work uh, for those that actually haven't done it. And what I do is I negotiate with the breeder for um, X amount of genetics. And in exchange for their genetics, I've promised that my members, whoever wins the lottery, will 
provide weekly video updates with from seed to harvest, you know, in exchange for these genetics. And there's a, a small shipping fee covering postage, packaging, seed vials, labels, all the extra goodies that come with the grow. Um, so I'm putting my name out there, I'm putting my reputation out there, and I'm negotiating on behalf of you guys that, okay, we're going to do this. And there's a lot of rules that have been implemented over time because people haven't followed through, people have not covered their shipping fees, people have not done their videos, people haven't popped all the beans, blah, 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 I mean, you name it. And that's why all these rules have been put into place, and it's just to protect my interest, your interest, and the breeder's interest, and we're doing something really, really right. So uh, the breeders are enjoying it. They're checking it out. They're hanging out more and more often. It looks like Costa Farms. Um, you know, shout out to him. He's been a really great addition to the social grow. He's always hanging out in the chat, and I'm excited to see what his genetics can do. Um, but there's just been a lot of visibility. The YouTube videos pile up and people are joining so I, I encourage <clears throat> the people that are new to seriously come in and dive in and get to know people in the chat say what's up post some videos I mean this is a primarily a site it's a site for everybody related to cannabis but to get the full effect of the site you know it, it has to do with posting videos of your grow and posting I don't know. It's, it's about videos. It's all the whole thing kind of started from us doing the bubblegum experiment back in 2013, and it was all about people posting videos. So it's evolved from that. The breeders are enjoying it. It's some good feedback for them. And when you do sign up for a grow, I mean, it's a marathon, and that's why we put the probation grow together because so many people have said, "I'll do it." and then taking the beans and then never hear from them again or they do one update and that's it um, but you know it's important this isn't about ego this isn't about you know who's the best grower it's not a contest it's it's about learning how to grow better learning what does what learning if it's a good strain um, and you know it's important to actually document everything you know especially with the germination to even if it's you know you even if you germinate nothing you put them in the dirt and nothing happens you need to do a video or you don't this is how you you know to be a good video contributor when it comes to uh, qualifying for lottery grows you know you need to make your video and your introduction video and then you need to post your next video if they fail that's why did they fail? It doesn't matter if they fail because of the something you did or bad experience or newbie or experience grow and bad seeds. I mean, it's the whole gamut is there, you know, running the wide variety of options that happen. So it's important to document the good and the bad. And that's what the value is here for the breeder and all of us is that we get to see different skill levels, different grow environments, different climates, different parts of the world, uh, different mediums, different lights. There's just so many different variables. And, you know, a lot of people say, okay, well, I, we've been talking about breeders for having their own grow staff. And most of the time, these growers they have are elite, elite growers. And while that's fine and dandy, you know, we're talking about growers that can take crappy genetics and make them I mean you can't take terrible genetics but we're talking about people that can grow they'll grow anything and they'll grow it well where that doesn't really give you the full experience of what seeds what your seeds and genetics can do how how stable they are to withstand you know certain environments and granted you know there are some harder seeds more advanced seeds to grow but that's what we're doing here is trying to learn so Make sure you pop all the seeds, make sure you're ready to put in the marathon effort of, you know, weekly updates, and, you know, life gets in the way, so just try to do weekly updates. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but just do a final video, even if you flail early, uh, if you're able to grow all the way through harvest, make sure you do a final harvest weight video and a smoke report, uh, that's important as well. 
if you go to the log into the social grow and click on the grows tab uh, that'll give you a drop down for the prove yourself grows and if you take a look at rake and uh, growing joe's grows i mean those are prime examples of what a grow should look like those guys dedicated a lot of time and they don't have to be much you know they just have to be like okay here it is this is week x or day x and i'm in this medium remind us what it is what's the temperature like it's two inches in the last video i'm out that's it you know it doesn't have to be a long production it doesn't have to be a movie it doesn't have to be direction or um i think you know take the ruler writing down the information that happened last time is more important than you know flashy stuff i mean that's all nice don't get me wrong and you know good luck and that stuff is all but that's just all extra and so shout out to everybody that's put in the hard work i appreciate it you know i have given up on doing grows i just don't have no time to dedicate you know i got my show we don't, i don't have the cloud room updates as frequently but that will be dialed in now that the grow space is being has been rearranged but yeah that's pretty much how social grow works if you got any questions if you're a member and you want to get in on the probation prove yourself grow contact me offline all right, so I want to give Cookies Mike a call and talk about the J the Grow Pro donation. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to give Cookies Mike a call here in just a Yo, Cookies Mike, can you hear me? The kind. What's up, bro? What is going on? Sorry, I was a little, having a little audio difficulties on my end. I got it dialed in. How are you, my man? I'm doing good. I'm trying to uh, get my phone charged up. I got like 1% one second. I won't keep you long. All right, cool. I'm on. I got charged up. I'm good to go. That was a fast charge, dude. So what's the weather like up there in Northern California right now? Or cow, it's hot. We in the triple digits coming up. Next couple of days, we just got off the triple digits we were in. Now we're in like the mid-90s. It's hot, 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 but you know what I'm using? My CO2 with my two 600s and my 4x8 tent with the splitter coming off the 1,000 watt ballast. So, uh, it's all good, you know? Yeah, Still, what kind uh, of temps are you running in here with this heat? What's that? What kind of temperatures are you running in your space with this heat going on? Uh, 
I'll tell you what, I run my lights at night. So temperatures right now, I can tell you right now in the tent is 86.7 degrees in the tent right now. And that's because I have it open and I have a fan blowing back and forth. Uh, it's always to have that shit closed. It'd probably be up about mm, 98, 100 degrees. Oh, damn. Okay. But yeah, that's, that's why I have the CO2. Right. Definitely going to help. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because from what I understand, 86 is like that danger zone where if you're above that for any, you know, significant amount of time without any CO2, um, you can stress your plants out. I mean, depending on the strain, obviously. But, yeah, you know what? i tell you what. Uh, I have... Uh, I've lived in this area for now a year now, and uh, I've been doing my uh, growth here for a year. Right. And compared to last year to this year, um, last year I used AC inside okay. compared to this year. Oh, that's right. You okay. had AC in the side of the tent. It was like that window. I AC did. Unit, I right? did. Yeah, I remember that. Now. I did. Nice. I did. I had an AC in there. You know what? I'm not running AC at all this year. And, uh, man, these, these guys are beasting out. Like, I mean, they're just growing quickly just from the heat and the CO2. And, uh, well, CO2, I, the controller stuff what, you have, that doesn't add any heat to your environment, does it? No, no, you're not, you're, uh, you're I, not I, doing I a sulfur the, burner or anything. No, I, dude, I'm, I'm truly just sucking the, the air from outside and blowing it out from, uh, on the inside, I have, you know, three uh, six-inch fans uh, blowing everything out and uh, blowing it in, recirculating. Uh, I have a 1,000-watt splitter running two 600-watt uh, lamps in the 4x8, and then I have nothing but T5s in my veg tent. Okay. And uh, actually, the veg tent, don't, I don't need much, uh, much rescue from that because of the T5s. How big is your veg tent? Which is the T5s? It's a four by four. And what's the? And you had what is your uh, flower tent? Five by ten? Four by eight. Four by eight. Okay. With two, two six hundred watt, with uh, actually a thousand watt magnetic ballast split two ways, the splitter. Nice. I just got a uh, my my. We have it reversed. I've got my small tent is my flower. My big tent is my veg. I just upgraded to that big 5x10, so I'm pretty stoked. So, last Saturday you had a second part of the Jay the Real Pro donation show. Are you still there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. I, can, I didn't hear nothing. Um, yeah, we had uh, another uh, episode of Jay, uh, the, uh, Jay the Real Pro uh donation show which is really actually helping out miss miss uh grow pro because i mean he's the one with the kids and needs to help you know and uh you know the bills pile up and stuff like that so for sure but know, it's we're out here to, i mean this is it's the jay the grow pro donation show you know because it's giving back to the guy that's been putting in all that effort absolutely. for us for absolutely i mean before it was funny i mean you, you've been watching jay then back when he was just the voice you know before he put his face on camera and to see the progression uh, to where he got with his, you know, YouTube popularity and he's been missed. So having the opportunity to help him out, I think is, is a good thing. I appreciate you taking the, the effort and putting that forward. That's, that's very true. Uh, Jay, it's been around for a long time and, uh, you know, not only I or you or anybody else on the social grow, but uh, there's a lot of guys out there that have uh, benefited from his knowledge, and he's a, you know, great teacher. You know, anybody, you know, go check his uh, his videos out. Go to uh, Flower Grow on uh, YouTube. He's got a lot of auto videos loaded up. If you guys are auto growers, go on that 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 site on YouTube and. Uh, you definitely see a lot of his videos on there. What's the site but, again? Yeah, Jay, uh, Flower Grow. 
It's uh, F L O W E R and then grow G R O W. Um, just type that in and you'll, you'll see it. It'll come up and you'll see, you'll see all of Jay's videos. And uh, like I said, they're mostly auto, auto videos. And I think that's where this guy is like, like focused on, but you know, I mean, he's got other, a lot of other videos too, but he's got a lot of, uh, Jay's videos on there and that's how I came across it. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of, uh, Letting everybody know. Okay. Post that link in the chat or on the on the, the Tokers board so everybody can go check it out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So has it been, yeah, has we're, it been we're, a decent we're, response so far for for helping out from your shoe shows? But Pat, I'm sorry. I said, has it has the uh, donation show? Have you been? Has it been a decent response from the people out there? Oh yeah, we've got a real good positive response so far, and. Uh, um, uh, again, I want to thank everybody for, uh, donating and coming out and, uh, you know, uh, even, uh, all the, all the note donations they have. And I've been, like I said, I, uh, sent out the donations last week and, uh, it's been a real great response and I hope to only do more. I actually got more shirts in today, as a matter of fact, Sweet. got more shirts in, so we got more shirts to give away. You and still have more actually, packages of the beans? Uh, I've got Medvet. His his bunch of autos came in. They're purple fruit basket regulars, and I also have uh, the candy. Hold on, let me. Yeah. Kush candy. Candy basket uh, Kush Ooh, is the other one. Nice. Yeah, candy ba- basket Kush. I'm sorry about that. That's a little hard to read, but yeah. So I got those. Uh, those are the new autos that are coming in. That came in this week, and those will be a part of the the, the new uh, send outs. If you guys want to donate, you get five autos, you get five regulars, and you get five feminized seeds, all for twenty five bucks. You can't beat it. I'm telling you, man. No, you go online, you're going to pay more than a hundred bucks for that stuff. You know what I mean? So Easy. come on through. Come to the Social Grow. Come check us out on UStreamTV.com. Cookies Mike Grow Show. I got the deal for you, and it's it. It's all for a good cause. Yeah, I'm gonna post. Uh, I got just. I got the email address for the PayPal. I'm gonna post that in the chat right now for anybody that wants to get in on that. I know there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of girls out there that uh, want in that purple fruit basket because that's a real, real popular. Yeah, that's hella popular. Auto. I'm excited Absolutely. to try. I want to try his. Uh, Hook me up, Medvet. I want to try some of that cross you made. I, I still got your order circulating right now. I still haven't even sent it out. You know, I'm going to get your order together, and you know what? I'll hook you up. You know what? You know how it is. Hell yeah. I appreciate it. So what's up for your show Saturday? Show Saturday night. Uh, it's going to be the day after 4th of July. I'll be live and direct here in the Cookie Factory. We'll be getting it on, and uh, we got some shirts to give away. You guys come around. Show me your number. We'll do a raffle. We'll get it going on. I also actually got some shrimp pops in. Also, oh, Deep nice. Water Culture Guys, I got your pot for you right now. Deep Water Culture Guys, I got the shrimp pot, auto pot, just for you guys. No holes or anything in it. Boom. It's ready to go just for you guys, man. So nice. uh, come make a deal. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate you taking the time. I just wanted to get everybody out there, let them know that we're still uh, accepting donations to help the randalls and jay mrs and mr jay the grow pro and it looks like there's a lot of good genetics still waiting so thank you got any shout outs you want to give before you head out i want to give a shout out to all you guys med that uh you green clouds 420 black clouds 1409 uh medically fit um man uh there, there's there's just too many to, to to ramble off right now but i just want to thank all you guys for uh, giving so we can give back and this is what it's all about man the social growth so this is what it's all about and uh tell you what come check it out saturday night cookies my grow show 7 p.m west coast 10 p.m east coast and whatever in between so nice. come check it out right on, cookies, mike thank you sir peace aloha <laughs> All right, so thank you, MedVet, and all you people out there that have hooked up.
Cookies Mike with some good stuff to make a wonderful package to get some fundage for the family. You know, if everyone gives a little, we all have abundance. And it works if everyone gives a little. <laughs> okay, I want to medicate some more. Sunshine, daydream. I love this stuff. Still got two phenos, the other one is more cushy. I don't know what that means. But it's got a more cushy smell. I'm no pro. <clears throat> so hopefully I'll uh, rebook the other interview that I had scheduled for today. We'll see if he can pick some time. Um, well, I'm going to pop some beans here in a couple of days. And I figured I'd just tell you guys a little about what I'm doing. First up is the last two of my Candyland. armor nails so I got two beans left I think I gave away two there was ten so six I had one female out of six and it wasn't really crazy so I am I got rid of it and I'm gonna pop two more and hopefully I'll find something good in the final two of those I'm gonna pop some Blueberry Hill, DJ Shorts Blueberry crossed with Appalachia, which is Green Crack, and Trace Dog, which I don't even know what that is. And then, speaking of Tosa Farms earlier, I'm going to drop two of his strains. I'm going to drop a couple, I think I'm going to do three. Two Granddaddy, four Blueberry Hill, three char Heavenly Cookies, which is his form cut of Girl Scout cookies crossed with G13 Labs Chocolate Heaven, and then three of his S Buds McKenzie, which is TNC Turf crossed with DDNL, and the TNC. Surface Tangerine Dream cross with Casey Jones. It's like a 9 to 11 week strip. And then I'm going to be dropping the Riot Seeds African Sour Diesel, African Strawberry Diesel, sorry, which is the across, East Coast Sour Diesel across with Strawberry Cream, and then that is crossed with Afro Pip Senegal Haze. This is like a 10 to 13 week strain. I, uh, I bought this off of Riot and I asked him what was one of the more difficult strains to grow and he said the African Strawberry Diesel. So I figured, okay, I will try that out, go advanced. Uh, also, I got some freebies with that order. The Sour Appy from Riot. I think it's like a six pack or something. Uh, these are both regular beans. This is DNA's LA Affy crossed with Top Dogs DD and L. One, two, three, four, five, seven beans. That oops, took all up there. It's a nice preview pack. So sevens, let's read, I got little notes on these strains here. The African Strawberry Diesel, Afro Pips, used to supply, this is off of the Riot Seeds website, used to supply some of the world's best African land race and land race hybrid lines out there. Afro Man passed a few years ago, so I wanted to start running these Senegal Haze for F2s to have them backed up and preserved. And during that F2 run, I found some amazing females, one of which was the Keeper Phenom. It's faster the bunch at 12 weeks, very heavy resin production, and some crazy, indescribable African smells. Almost fruity, but not kind of 
but not kind of cedarish. Oh, almost fruity, but not kind of cedarish. Just an addicting smell and flavor, and a very clear-headed, almost psychedelic high. Some would consider it speedy. On its own, it would have had an excellent oil strain, but we figured the only thing it desperately needed was yield. It was an airy, lanky sativa, and it needed a bigger bud structure as well, modifying the high to a more hybrid type. So, 10 to 13 weeks sounds good to me. Um, and then the Sour Affy, in bold it says, This is not the old L.A. Affy cut we've been showing for years. This is L.A. Affy as DNA has presented it. We used a selection from DNA's L.A. Affy. We did rigorous stress testing with this lady before we decided it would be good for breeding. It's the structure of an old, short, stocky Afghani, somewhat similar to the Northern Lights 5X2 line. Uh, very frosty with chemical ammonia acrid smell, the most similar trait to the old Affy cut. We decided it would work best with our current male selection given to us by our good homie BZ of Top Dog's DDNL line. And the DDNL is a cross of ChemDog D and DNL. What the hell is DNL? For those not familiar with DNL, it's the mommy of East Coast Sour Diesel. Awesome. The given information for the genetics and DNL are RFK skunk, crossed with Hawaiian, crossed with Northern Lights, and that gives East Coast Sour D her sour nature. The Chem Dog D in the line brought in this heavy fecal chem smell, but with the delicious taste that comes with Chem D. Oh man. Alright, so that's got my mouth watering. I'm looking forward to it. All right, looks like I lost connection to Ustream. I don't have much left, so I'm just going to continue, and then you guys can watch it by watching it. So, shout out to Cookies Mike for being on the show. Shout out to Lucky Dog Hot Sauce. Congratulations on winning or, or meeting your goal. Shout out to Josh Heinrichs, High on Love, Album of the Week. Nice album, I dig it. Uh, hit up Dirty Bong Water with the Dirty Bong Water package. And contact me if you want to get in on the strain review. Uh, Friday night, House of Zen with Cyclops. Saturday night, Cookies Mike Gross Show. And Sunday, That's What's Up with D Stern. Thank you, everybody, for watching another episode of I Love Weed. Catch you next week. Oh, one thing. Uh... Not one thing. Iron Fist 2, the beans are uh, heading to the Pigeon Factory tomorrow, so give me some pigeon food. I don't like asking you guys. You guys know the deal. You sign up. Let's do this. Don't waste my time. Uh, so let's get that out. Next week, got one leak left to sign up for the Cali Connection Grow. Alien OG, 20, 25 spots available. Sign up. Peace out.